pleasure and honor to be representing the DMC family as uh, one of the winners of the Good Craft Competition uh, 2018. Good Craft Forming has been a notable initiative from the Mauritius Institute of Education to encourage the Mauritius students to go in. This has, in fact, been a wonderful opportunity as an educator to engage myself in an activity outside the normal academic curriculum. The government of Mauritius has long been talking about the holistic development of our students and Good Raft is indeed an undeniably excellent example to promote this culture. Our first participation to this competition has been an enriching experience. Our students are forced to go beyond their means in a very positive sense to achieve the objectives given the limited time frame. They have had hands-on experience and have acquired proper sense of planning. Apart from knowledge building, encouraging coding skills and competencies in our students, this project has allowed me to move out of my usual comfort zone and to challenge myself to do more than just teaching. I'd push it a bit further to say to break away from the monotony of traditional classroom setting and making life a little bit more interesting. And of course, in doing so, I'm able to build a deeper bond with the young generation, which is so essential in today's educational context. All which I'm referring to are surely intangible, but I believe that these are what helped me in becoming an improved and adaptable version of myself. Before leaving the floor to my team members, I will grab this opportunity to thank the Mauritius Institute of Education, the Rotary Club of Corpus, and all the collaborating organizations for inspiring us, and also thankful to uh, the director of the school, Dr. Maurice Curie uh, State School, Mr. Sominaden, for his unflinching support, and last but not the least, my three girls, Farheen, Ishrat, and Nishta, for having made this experience a memorable one. Thank you. and today we will be talking about how we plan and organize our resources for the code craft competition. We started by deciding which are the places we will visit to gather the unnecessary resources. We, thank, we thank our mentor for advising and guiding us throughout the competition, our rector for allowing us to visit the different sites during school hours, and our computer lab attendant who took us to the different places even though some of them were not included in the list provided by the MI. Fanny, being our group leader, had to divide the work equally among the three of us. We sometimes had different in opinions, but we were to, luckily we were able to overcome them. We support and trusted each other in times of hardship, and that is how we were able to maintain a positive team spirit. I'll now leave the floor to my friend Richard, who will talk about how we dealt with our difficulties. Hello everyone, my name is Isad, and I'm going to talk about how we dealt with the different constraints that we have come across. Firstly, we have to balance school and code craft. Not an easy task, but we manage by sometimes staying up late at night to do the coding and complete our homeworks. During the whole days and weekends, we could not meet at school, so to keep the work going, we had to meet at public places. On finals, things did not go as expected, even though we, were, we thought we were fully prepared. We still had some problems that we had to resolve on the spot. We did not have the necessary equipment and had to arrange for a laptop. I'm happy that we were able to get through successfully. I'll now leave the floor to my friend Fermi. Good morning everybody, I'm Fermi and I'm going to discuss about our achievements and experience of Codecraft. We've improved our communication skills and became more vocal. We had a great experience visiting the sets of the NBC the National Library, the National Archives, and the NGI. We also went for extra miles, and we had the opportunity of visiting the MSIRI, which was not included in our list. We came out of our shell and overcame our shyness. During this wonderful journey, we grew closer to each other and became close friends. During the journey, we carved many memories that we will cherish forever. It was an amazing journey and we enjoyed ourselves a lot. And finally, we were satisfied, relieved and filled with joy when we came to know that we were the second runner. The impression was tremendous and the journey meaningful. And now I pass the stage to my friend Nishta to continue. It's also 
been a great experience as well, as people often tend to ignore the fact that programming is not restricted only to boys. The society has a tendency to associate computer-related activities only to boys and ignore the fact that even if it is a minority, there are girls that are interested in acquiring computer programming skills. Even though we are very little, we should try to propagate and spread the computer language among us and encourage them to continue to continue and try acquiring competencies for programming among the family gender. And we are glad to have proven these people wrong by being one of the winning teams. On an ending note, we would rather say that the journey was more interesting than the ending itself. Thank you all for your kind attention.